There is a skill in physics which I think is more important than problem solving in exams. And of course I am talking about derivations. And today we'll be deriving one of the most beautiful equations in fluid mechanics. Imagine that you have a pipe which narrows as the fluid particles are going up. What is actually making the particles move is the difference in pressure. Let's apply energy conservation. In order to do so, we're going to start off with the amount of work that's being done for a particle to go from here to here. Let's call that, I don't know, dW for an infinitesimal amount of work on a small particle. Well, this here will be equal to the difference in forces multiplied by the actual distances that they travel. So I'm going to say that there's a force due to pressure this way, F1, and and uh, we're going to multiply this by a small element ds1. There will be another force acting in the opposite direction, so let's just take that away. I'm going to call this F2 ds2. And we can express these in terms of pressure. Ta-da! Where P1 is the pressure here and P2 here. Now work done will be equal to the change of energy as the particle moves from here to here. Both the kinetic and the potential energies will actually change. So we can say that a half dm, two squared, take away a half dm v1 squared. That's just the change in kinetic energy, but the potential energy also changes, so we can add in dm times g times by the height coordinate. Shall we just call it the y coordinate? So y2 take away dm g y1. Please note that in this case, we are assuming that this is an incompressible fluid and the same amount of mass per second flows through both of these regions. Okay, so mass is equal to density times volume. So we can just rewrite this in terms of the density. So it's going to be rho times that tiny volume, let's call that dv, v2 squared, take away a half, rho dv, v1 squared, plus rho dv, g2, take away. And have a look at something interesting. So the area multiplied by ds, which is the tiny distance traveled along the direction, will actually just give us the volume. So we can directly write this as p1 dv, take away p2 dv. Because we're assuming that this is an incompressible fluid, we can do one of my favorite things, that is to cancel terms out of an equation. And now let's tidy the expression up by putting all of the V2 and Y2 components on the left, let's say. And then finally we can write down the equation in its most famous form that all of the terms added up are actually equal to a constant. And this right here is the famous Bernoulli equation with numerous applications in fluid mechanics. It explains how, let's say, that this term is infinitesimal. If there's a lot of velocity, the pressure will actually drop and this will create a difference in pressure between the two sides, potentially creating a lift force. Your next incredibly crucial step is to apply these to problems. And there's an amazing problem with a really cool application of this equation click over here.